And back to our top story this morning, I-55 just south of Springfield still shut down after dozens of cars crashed, killing six people. Yeah, this all happened after a rare dust storm moved in. NBC 5's Everett Casme live on I-55 here this morning. Everett, you've been on the scene here since yesterday. What can you tell us here uh, that unfolded here, this tragedy that unfolded on the highway? Yeah, JC and Michelle, the north and southbound lanes on I-55, where this vehicle pileup and dust storm happened, still closed this morning. And now that the sun's up, we're getting a closer look at the vehicles that were damaged in all this. Take a look for yourself. These are some of the semis that were involved, or at least what's left of the semis, and they were towed here to this lot after being involved in that pileup yesterday. You can see how extensive the damage is here. A lot of burns from the fires as they both caught fire. We know that at least two semis caught fire. Police telling us that in total, Total 72 vehicles were involved in this crash. Now, the dust storm hit just before 11 a.m. on Monday, right on I 55, and it was caused by excessive winds blowing dirt from farm fields across the highway. That led to zero visibility. There were multiple car crashes for about a two mile stretch, and we have learned that 37 people were hospitalized, ranging in age from 2 to 80 years old, some with minor injuries, some life threatening, and sadly, some fatal. We got a chance to speak with a driver who got Got stuck in the middle of it all. This sandstorm just rolled right in, uh, kind of like a blackout basically. You couldn't even see a foot in front of you. Uh, and then, yeah, this is like the classic thing where the cars slow down and try to slow down, but some people don't. And you just hit the people behind you, they hit the people in front of them, pushes you into more people, and then some people try to swerve and avoid it, but then they hit other people. Just causing that chain reaction there. And sadly, we have learned, as you mentioned, that six people were killed. And we've just learned the name of one of the victims. 88-year-old Shirley Harper of Franklin, Wisconsin, was killed in yesterday's crash. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office is working diligently to identify the five other victims and notify their families. And back out here live again, these semis are just uh, part of the vehicles that were damaged in the pileup yesterday. We're told that at least two semis caught on fire, and that's the extensive damage that you're seeing there behind me. As I mentioned, I-55, both the north and southbound lanes, where this vehicle pileup and dust storm happened, still closed this morning. Illinois State Police are investigating.